Hi guys, it's Steffi from The Novelty Corner. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to do the Do I Have That Book book tag. This was, I think, was originally created by Keeping Tabs. I can't remember whose video I saw it on. I wasn't tagged to do it. I just thought it looked like fun and I have to go on a scavenger hunt in my bookshelves and I don't really know how it's going to go. So without further ado, let's jump into it. The first challenge is to find a book with deckled edges. Apparently not. I thought I did. I know I have in the past, but yes, apparently not. Question two is, do you have a book with three or more people on the cover? Skullduggery Pleasant, The Dying of the Light. More than three people. Do you have a book based on another fictional story? Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. Question four, do you have a book with a title that is exactly 10 letters long? Ice Station by Matthew Riley. Question five, do you have a book with a title that starts and ends with the same letter? I'm going to cheat. It doesn't start and end with the same letter, but it starts and ends with the same sound, and that is Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, because I can't find anyone that starts with the same letter. Question six, do you have any mass market paper books? I do. Oh look, it's a teeny tiny version of the X-Men novelization. Do you have a book with an author using a pen name? Every Heart of Doorway by Shauna Maguire. I think Shauna Maguire might be actu actually be her name, but she also writes under Mira Grant, so it's a pseudonym situation, I think. Question eight, do you have a book with a character's name in the title? Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. Question nine, do you have a book with two maps in it? The Three Secret Cities by Matthew Riley. Map, 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 more maps, more maps. This book is full of maps. Question 10, do you have a book that was turned into a TV show? The Magicians by Lev Grossman. Question 11, do you have a book that was written by someone who is originally famous for something else? Otherworld by Jason Siegel and Kirsten Miller. Jason Siegel is an actor, I believe. This will not be sticking around my apartment for long because I DNF'd it, but it's here. Do you have a book with a clock on the cover? Caraval by Stephanie Garber, because I'm cheating. Clock. Question 13, do you have a poetry book? Yes, I do. The Princess Saves Herself in this one by Amanda Lovelace. Question 14, do you have a book with an award stamp on it? The Invention of Hugo Cabret by Brian Selznick. It has the Keldercott sticker on it. Do you have a book written by an author with the same initials as you? So that would be SG. So I'm not repeating myself. Legendary by Stephanie Garber, SG. Question 16, do you have a book of short stories? Stories of Your Life and Others by Ted Chang. I highly recommend this. Question 17. Do you have a book that is between 500 and 510 pages long? This is oddly specific. Would you believe that this edition of A Gathering of Shadows is exactly 510 pages long? 18. Do you have a book that was turned into a movie? Stardust by Neil Gaiman. Question 19. Do you have a graphic novel? Why yes, I have plenty of them. Joker by... Brian Nazarello. And last but not least, do you have a book written by two or more authors? Illuminate by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. And that is the end of the Do I Have book tag. That was kind of fun, but I've decimated my bookshelf, so now I've got a whole stack of books to put away. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I will tag some people down in the comments below, but if you would like to do this video, consider yourself tagged. I hope that wherever you are in the world, you're having a wonderful day, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.